I just had an amazing overnight trip spent with some mountain goats. Let's uh, rewind a little bit and start from the beginning. Well, I found the goats I was looking for. Uh, there's quite a few of them. Got some in front of me right now. They're uh, just eating here. There's some more. We're right on the edge of a hill right here. There's some more just just over the edge there. So. Getting some pictures now and uh, uh, yeah, just spend some time with them. It's always fun being around these guys. I just had an awesome evening with some mountain goats. I got some pictures, got a little bit of video, uh, spent just a little while with them. I uh, got up here to where I usually go and look for mountain goats and I found some, but if you can't hear, it's incredibly windy tonight, super cold. As soon as I got with those goats, they got into some rocks and kind of settled down for the night. They're all laying down and so uh, I left them be, came out here to make camp, and man, it is just, it's freezing cold. <laughs> this wind is brutal, and it's, yeah, it's just cold up here. So I'm gonna make camp, uh, get a hot meal, cause I am starving and I'm cold, and then I'm crawling into my sleeping bag, and I'll uh, meet up with those goats in the morning. It's already getting pretty late, and uh yeah like i said i'm cold i'm hungry hey and i'm tired too so <laughs> um yeah i'll uh get a hot meal here got some rice pudding for dessert too so i'll get some of that uh, but yeah great night with those goats great evening um pretty cool light on them for a while there and uh yeah just a awesome awesome night
such a beautiful morning. The uh, sun's coming up right now, and these colors are amazing. Uh, let me show you real quick. Got these beautiful oranges coming out. The uh, blue of the mountains. I don't know. I just love it. It's so pretty. I love it out here. But yeah, uh, had a decent sleep last night. Slept till about four o'clock, and then something woke me up. Something was crawling around my uh, camp area. Couldn't figure out what it was. I think it was just a chipmunk or something. But uh, something woke me up, and I really couldn't fall back asleep. But uh, I, I slept pretty well. And uh, the wind died down last night. It actually got a little bit warmer, I think, than it was last night. Uh, it was just brutally cold last night with that wind. But I found the goats. They are coming back down this mountain over here. You won't be able to see them, obviously, but they're at the very top of that mountain. They're kind of along that ridge there. And they're uh, starting to come down, so I'm going to make my way over there. Shouldn't take me too long. I'll make my way over there, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more footage of those goats. I didn't get much last night just because it was so windy, and pretty much as soon as I found them, they bedded down. And then it got dark, and then they moved off. So I uh, yeah didn't get a whole lot of them last night, but... I'm gonna go out now, uh, put my my uh, camp back together, and we'll go from there. So this was camp last night. Uh, I didn't do a tent. I just brought my little bivy sack there, put my sleeping pad and sleeping bag in it, just my bug bivy, uh, just so bugs wouldn't get on me in the night. But 
uh, yeah, I just had my sleeping pad, sleeping bag, got my backpack there, some camera gear, and my little stove. That was all I brought on this trip, just so it could be a little bit lighter. Making my way down, slowly but surely. Actually, not too slowly, I'm, I'm going pretty quick. Setting a good pace, my pack feels a lot lighter today going down than it did yesterday coming up, which is a good thing, I guess.